One in 68 children is diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder in the United States. Most of them showing the first signs of autism by age three, but not getting a diagnosis until they are much older. April is Autism Awareness Month, and tonight's Sinclair Cares report, CBS 12's Cara Duffy shows you the advances in diagnosing autism spectrum disorder. Candy Spitz is the mom of 10-year-old twin boys, Brendan and Jaden. They were the perfect babies. The boys passed their developmental milestones as expected. The doctors used to remark about how strong they were, how advanced they were. They were walking, talking, eating, playing, everything early. But that changed when they were 17 months old. Old. There was no expressions in their bodies. You could wave your hands, you could tickle, giggle, anything you could do to get a reaction, and they were blank. The slowdown in development was the first step in diagnosing the boys with autism. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention found that many children with autism are not being diagnosed as early as they could be. Even though autism can be diagnosed as early as age two, most children are diagnosed at age four. The lag negatively affects how and when the family get the services they need. You see the whole gamut. There's no one specific diagnosis, cookie cutter diagnosis for autism. Dr. Narina Ocampo is a pediatrician in South Florida who specializes in diagnosing and treating the developmental disorder that makes it difficult for people to socialize and communicate. There's no blood test to diagnose autism. It's basically developmental screenings and family history. Dr. Ocampo says the doctors continue to rely on a checklist to diagnose autism, but the questions have changed. Now the new questions pinpoint behavior in greater detail because every patient falls on a different point of the autism spectrum. For example, doctors want to know specifically how your child asks you for something. Does your child point to ask for things or does your child point to show Show you things. Today, Brendan and Jaden are primarily nonverbal. They embrace technology to help them communicate. He'll take videos of whatever's going on in his surrounding, and then he overdubs his voice on there into themes and things like that. And that's usually how I know if he's sad, happy, you know, whatever it happens to be. Sunday. Today, Candy celebrates different milestones, looking ahead to a bright future.